In this video I'll be changing the connecting rod bushings uh, in 16 rods. Uh, the customer brought them in and he had them done previously and was not happy with the outcome and asked if I would be willing to take on the job and I said sure. Uh, this is actually my vintage propeller shaft protractor. Um, I'm just finding the angle right here so I can set the sign plate which I also brought the sign plate from home um, in order to machine some of the tools needed for pushing out the bushings or should I say pulling out the bushings and pulling the new bushings back into place. The engines are 16 cylinder Yenbacher engines that are made in Austria, a part of General um, Electric. And they run off of landfill gas. I apologize for uh, so much movement. I'm trying to hold the camera with one hand and crank the handles on the mill with the other hand. Uh, not a very good outcome. Here I'm taking one of the old bushings and turning the OD down. This section's getting turned down to where it'll uh, have clearance to pass through the rod. Now I just parted off a little section of the end of the bushing. Now I'm making a little guide out of a piece of uh, um, brass material. Um, all this will make sense if you if you make it a little farther into the video. It'll all come together and, and make a whole lot more sense. Here I'm drilling the hole for the all thread rod to pass through.
bushing on the right shows the finish that the bushings uh, look like where somebody attempted to hone or do something to them. Um, the one on the left is the brand new bushing. All you need to do is press the new bushings in and you are done. It's got the clearance built right into them. That's the main slug that will be uh, pulling the uh, old bushings out. This is the section of an old bushing I parted off. It slides on. Now it'll uh, raise up into the rod. And then you just kind of turn it to where the uh, surface is all uh, square up nice. That's a little guide that will be put on uh, in a little bit. Now I'm putting the bronze guide on and what it'll do is it'll pile it right inside of that main slug there. Being that the rod's tapered, the other slug wants, when you start putting pressure on, wants to kind of pull downhill. So with that bronze piece, it fits right in the center right there and prevents that piece from sliding downhill when you start putting pressure on. Here I lift the porter power up and off of the ball thread. There's the little brass little guide ring. And there's the old bushing. Now 15 more to go. I was able to pick this Porter Power up from the estate of Joe Potter that lived in St. Helena, California. He was a huge part of the OWWM group, which was the old woodworking machines group, and it was a big loss when he passed.
hopefully this will make it a little bit clearer. But we'll call the main the main uh, slug that's inside the bushing. Uh, we'll just call it the slug. And where I had to make this little brass pilot is the outer bushing that the bearing would pull up into this part right here. When you put pressure on it, it would want to pull down the slope of the rod. So the bronze bushing just gave a pilot to where it, since it's already over the slug, it's locked in and it can't go anywhere. Here I'm using a little scotch bright uh, wheel on the end of the die grinder. And it's really important that the leading edge um, is smoothed up. It's real easy to shave a little piece of material off of the bushings when you're pulling them in. You know, so you just want to just go around and just barely, even if you have a bevel, even the edge of the bevel, if it has a sharp edge, will still shave material. So just kind of smoothing it up a little bit. The customers had some rods in the past where they pulled the new bushings in and the oil holes didn't line up perfect. So they would just take a drill bit and run the drill bit in, which would give you a kind of a circle eight pattern. So what I'm doing here is I'm making a guide. This guide is for one thing, um, to help me align the oil holes before I press the bushings in. Here I'm having to assemble the uh, the bushing with the tapered spacer in there. You can kind of see where it kind of cams over when you twist it. You just find the area that they settle and have good contact. Now I'm able to transfer the line straight down. And the, the scribe line I'm going to put in there will just be for helping to align the, uh, the bushing in the rod. Uh, just a starting point. At this point, I just take the little scribe mark that I put on the bushing and just line it to, with the little dot on the rod that earlier I, I put there with the jig just to get it started nice and straight. Okay here I'm getting ready to pull the new bushings in and this is a piece of high pressure gasket material that I cut and it's actually going to act as a little break to where once there's pressure applied on that on the sleeve that gasket kind of locks it and keeps it from wanting to slide down it ended up working really nice Here you can kind of see me spinning it and where all the surfaces make contact nice and square. When I was at the uh, Joe Potter's estate sale, 
the ram was in uh, one section and I was fortunate enough to find the pump clear over in another section there there wasn't any hose on them all I had to do is clean them up a little bit make a hose and everything worked perfect no leaks and I'm thrilled with it For some reason, I thought I could uh, I, I could pump the porter power handle and hold uh, the phone in my other hand and be as steady as a rock. Um, apparently, it didn't come out quite as good as I thought. But here you can see the uh, the oil hole pulled up into place real nice. As I mentioned earlier, the bushings are designed to uh, to press in and have the clearance built right in them. On these particular rods, they're running about a three thousandths uh, clearance fit. You will also notice these uh, bushings are splash fed oil oil only. This was the second one out of sixteen. Only fourteen more to go. This was one of my regular day job projects, uh, but they were in a rush and needed them right away. So it was kind of a long, uh, long night. So it was pretty quiet in the shop. So I was able to do a little bit of a uh, film and I normally don't film much of my jobs at work. But anyway, I sure appreciate anybody stopping by and checking out my videos. I love, I just, went over a hundred subscribers which was kind of exciting uh, but anyway thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing if you like this video please leave a thumbs up